I'm Paul Radu. I'm an uh, investigative journalist. Uh, I work with uh, networks of investigative journalists. I created a few uh, such networks. Uh, we believe in uh, sharing information across these networks. So uh, what we do is uh, we investigate locally, but then we assemble a bigger puzzle. Uh, part of this work is done uh, via the investigative dashboard, uh, which is the, uh, a tool that we created with the help of the Global Investigative Journalists Network. Um, and the investigative dashboard, uh, uh, I, I, I believe you can make good use of it. Um, uh, it has uh, four sections. Uh, one section uh, is a research desk. Uh, we have um, experts that work with us and they're experts into finding out data on companies worldwide. Uh, you can address these questions on the research desk of the investigative dashboard and these uh, researchers will, uh, will assist you for free in finding out information on companies. Uh, there's another uh, section of it uh, which is an elastic list, an interface towards uh, various registries of companies worldwide. I think right now there are more than uh, 400 uh, uh, such places indexed there. Uh, for instance, uh, if you need to get data uh, about a company from Ukraine that is selling something in the UK, you know, uh, you can uh, have access to it through the investigative dashboard and you can see who's running that company. Um, there's also a section that points you out to software that you can use in your investigative work. And finally, there's a data vault uh, where we index uh, uh, scraped uh, uh, data where we indexed uh, information on companies uh, from uh, various, uh, various countries. Um, the really useful thing about the investigative dashboard is that um, lots of uh, problems that seem to be local, uh, they actually have an international angle. Um, I'll, uh, I, I can give some, some example. I just uh, came back from, uh, from Africa, for instance, and uh, uh, African journalists, for instance, in Sierra Leone, uh, there is a lot of uh, activity uh, in the field of mining and lots of those mining companies are actually listed on the London Stock Exchange. Um, the locals there, the journalists, the local journalists in Sierra Leone, they don't know how to get company records from the UK in order to find out what these companies are about, especially when they're involved in some wrongdoings locally. So uh, the investigative dashboard is helping them find out this data and we work with journalists from the UK as well and they can find out more about that company and investigate it locally. Uh, but this can go the other way as well uh, because if you have, um, let's say, some uh, foreigners you know, that are active uh, in the UK, somewhere, somewhere in London, they open up shop there or they're involved in some scams, uh, it would be easier for locals to investigate these scams if they use uh, not only the investigative dashboard but an array of tools that are out there uh, on the internet that allow you to get in touch with journalists in other parts uh, of the world and allow you to have access to original information on that, on that matter. Uh, so I think this exchange of uh, information is crucial in order to uh, investigate local matters. L let's take for instance this uh, uh, recent uh, London riots, and not only London but other, other cities in the UK. But, uh, there were foreigners involved with this. It would be very useful to check their background back home and to, to check uh, what they were doing there and uh, how did uh, they get to, 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 to be part in these riots. Because most of the times, uh, again, the local problem has another part to it that is not tied to, the, to, to that place where, 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 where the things happen.